Bruce Lee meets James Bond. That is the soul of Dragon. Hey everyone, welcome back to Watch with Kuda. I am a huge fan of the DC Universe and Batman Soul of the Dragon. You can definitely add that to your collection. This new animated movie is from the adaptation of the late Denny O'Neill. And you know what? Batman fits in all time frames. Whether it's from the past, the present, the future, you can definitely enjoy each version of Batman. And this time, he has been given a makeover in the 1970s. All I can say, the results are really, really good, fun, entertaining, great action, and an awesome roster of great cast. But from my own opinion, this is not a Batman movie, but rather Richard Dragon movie. And Batman is a basic, somewhat a supporting cast so that people who don't know about the other characters, especially Richard Dragon, can watch this animated movie. I love DC, you love DC, we all love DC. In the 1970s, a missing teacher of martial arts is the subject of the quest by his devoted and brilliant but distant students, who include Batman. Batman's soul of the dragon begins years after Bruce Wayne traveled the world to learn skills needed for fighting crime. When Richard Dragon, one of his fellow students from the studying martial arts, comes to Bruce with a mission related to their training days, they must find Lady Shiva and Bronze Tiger, their other fellow students, to combat their new and growing evil. So, the characters are great from Richard Dragon to Lady Shiva. It is really a different roster you don't see every day teaming up with Batman. Though, Batman is not the forefront of the show. And I think this is the first time I have seen Batman basically being a psychic to someone. Richard Dragon is the one who's on the forefront taking the lead in what's happening in the plot. I love Lady Shiva. She is badass like Wonder Woman. There is actually a scene of her where she manhandles this one character with just a finger. Imagine just a finger. How cool is that? Every character gets a decent story of development from Lady Shiva, Bronze Tiger. Well, Batman, everyone already knows Batman's backstory. It's basically legendary. But Richard Dragon as the forefront deserved more character development and how he became all center's best people among all the pupils that join the roster. The animation is amazing as always. It's not different from the rest of the other DC animated movies that we have seen before like Justice League Apocalypse War, Justice League Dark and other previous installments that came before this one. They really captured the 1970 vibes with the music, the dressing, the Gotham City and the life of Bruce Wayne which we get in brief is really brilliant and as I said it mixes both this James Bond vibe and the martial arts vibe at the same time throwing it in those old movies VHS movies that we watched as a kid back then it's really brilliant and DC don't hold back on the R-rated scenes because Soul of Dragon is full of violence one scene I love with Lady Shiva, the martial arts guy who disowned her fighting arena. She kills the guy with just one hand. And remember I just mentioned that he fights a guy with one finger. That was pretty cool. That was really cool. So yeah, DC doesn't hold back on the gruesome death. Soul of the Dragon is full of bloody violence, mature themes and a disturbing sex scene. So not for kids and I maybe DC don't hold back with these adult cartoons which I hope one day Disney animation will need to adopt because I feel like Disney animation is just still feels like it's for kids in a way though the stories are good but they just need to 
add that mature content one day maybe one of their animations or one of their certain characters like dc and i'm sure they will they can contend on the animation department i also love the voice cast all of them are really really good they really did a great job i was surprised that the guy from grim david Ginatoli, voiced batman it was okay his voice was okay he really did sounded like batman there was nothing problematic about it and then there was michael j white voice as bronze tiger I did not need to research to know who voiced Bronze Tiger. I definitely knew from his voice. Everyone on the voice cast was brilliant and they all did right with this animation movie. Soul of the Dragon is definitely not the best DC animated movie I have ever seen. It has its own issues in the storyline department but it is simple and its simplicity is straightforward to the point which makes it okay decent to watch it brings themes such as family that we see between bruce lady shiva burntana with the help of the flashbacks that we see as the story develop i wish they could have done more story development on richard dragon since he was the forefront of the story his relationship with all sensei I feel like Batman was basically unnecessary for this animated movie. I don't think there was need for him. They just attached the name of Batman so that people can just watch. These characters I hope in future will get flushed out more. Whether on small screen or the big screen in future, it will be great to see my favorite character in that movie in this animated movie, Lady Shiva being badass like wonder woman and killing like a mad woman batman was basically as i said unnecessary just his name was used uh, to draw the audience to watch the animation anyway batman's soul of dragon is a good watch and you should go edit on your watch list so have you seen batman soul of the dragon if you did what are your thoughts drop them in the comment section below and do not forget to subscribe I'll see you in the next video.